question. Who is ready for some girl chat? <laughs> okay, because I have some good one. news. Yes. Yes. It's almost the weekend, y'all. So is everybody excited? So excited, and, and I in, just can't hide it. Of course, <laughs> and in keeping the tradition, Fridays here at The Real are always fresh, fun, and festive. That's right. We don't celebrate plain old Friday. Oh, hell no. <laughs> we celebrate Friday! Yay! Yay! OK, and today we are getting into the Valentine's Day spirit with a raspberry romance martini. Ooh. Ooh I know, it's so sexy. See, right? It's a mix of muddled raspberries, cranberry juice, and vodka <gasps> with a delicious mm. mint cookie crumble rim. Oh, wow. Mm. You can't help but feel the love when you sip on this cocktail. To learn how to make this mocktail or cocktail for your Valentine, head over to thereal.com. Can we say cheers before you sip, Lonnie? Oh, oh we already oh. drank. Yeah, we already did. <laughs> Sorry, Jeannie. Yeah, uh, take it too long. Toast to you, real fam. <laughs> cheers. 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 Love you, cheers. love you, love you. We'll start. <laughs> This is so good. Good? Yeah. Oh, yes. This is good. Real good. Chance, you guys right? look beautiful it's today. I love sweet. your outfits. Thank you. Yeah. Well, gorgeous. speaking of a party, one single mom recently decided that any kid coming to her twin's fifth birthday party will have to pay a cover charge. According to the Daily Mail, Ruma Ali invited 60 of her children's classmates to the party and plans to collect $10 per child at the door. It's a door charge. Now, Ruma reportedly insisted that all the money will go towards the party's expenses and that each kid okay. will get a gift on the way out. While many parents feel like it's the height of rudeness to charge per child, other parents think it's a great idea and are considering doing the same. So, Tamara, you had two beautiful yes. boo-boos, including <laughs> a five-year-old. Would you charge at Aiden's party? Okay, if I... I'm honest, I went hard for my children's first birthday party. Mm -hmm. It was really expensive. It was so expensive that I told myself I am never, ever, ever doing that again until they are 16 years old. Right. Mm -hmm. There are ways you can have really cost-effective birthday parties. You don't have to charge to go to a birthday party. I think that that's unfair. Why am I gonna pay for something that you invited me to? I think that it's true. All you have to do is keep the party simple. Kids only care about cake, ice cream, games, and their favorite friends, and they're gonna have a blast. I mean, there's, there's now, water but, balloon toss games, there's potato but, sack. I mean, that's is so it, reasonable. Is it, is it more of a competition thing between parents? Well, and that's the thing. I believe it's up to you as a parent. If you wanna spend a lot of money, you're gonna spend a lot of money. And I think moms, they sometimes want to outdo the other mom. That's what I'm the saying. The birthday party really isn't about the child themselves. I even right. see times where moms do the birthday party really for themselves. That's what I'm saying. Like the color coordination, the beautiful mm -hmm. like centerpieces mm -hmm. and stuff that the kids wouldn't even remember. Yeah. However, I remember when I was growing up, um, we didn't have a lot of money. And I remember my mom having to uh, ask me, okay, Gong, Gong means daughter in Vietnamese, who, who do you want to have there? And she asked me, and I, I would kind of go, oh my God, well, you know, I, I love everybody. I love Sam, I love Frankie, I love uh, Ronald. Why do I love all guys? <laughs> Wait, but, I, but I had a lot of friends, and then she would say, you know, pick your favorite five or your favorite eight kids. And when I'd pick them, you know, it, it, was, it, it was just, it was fine. But then later on, as my brothers, came into the family, we made more money, and so they were allowed to have maybe like the whole class come. And I realized that my mom had to budget and had mm -hmm. to cut corners, because we would go to Chuck E. Cheese and she'd have to give every kid a roll Chuck of e. coins. Chuck E. Cheese is great. For the, for the tokens, yes, but everything did cost money. And it depends, it's relative, right, how much everything costs. So I don't think it's right to, to charge people to be invited, but I think there's ways to go around it, even maybe asking to help as a potluck. Maybe all the parents could bring something if you know that prices is, is a problem, you know? And um, I think she did go all out. She invited 60 kids to our parties, but she has two kids. She has twins, kids. and they had different classrooms. But you don't have to invite everybody. Not everybody That's is a the friend. Thing. They just right? want their favorite man, friends. Man, oh man, you guys. <laughs> I'm on the opposite side of this <laughs> one. Okay. I was like, sounds fine to me as long as you give the parents a heads up that, hey, it's gonna cost $10. I think it's rude that if they arrive and then you're like, I need $10. But it's yeah, like a field a trip. Up. If you give somebody a heads up and you're like, hey, I don't have the money to pay for like the food, the cake, it's expensive. If everybody can just pitch in for, it's like going to a birthday dinner as an adult. Yes. And everybody pitches in and the birthday girl doesn't pay. To me, it feels the same. The other thing is, 
Someone said, um, like, well, does that make some people feel embarrassed because they're asking for money if they don't have money? And my thing is, why would you invite somebody to your, or invite, let your kids hang out with somebody that would make fun of them? Or that isn't like close enough like family, where if you needed the help, you could be like, hey, things are a little tight right now, doing something for the kids, but I like don't have money for the cake or the food to feed all the kids. Well, I don't- If the I parents just, could pitch in. But then, that's a lot of money. That's $600 if all 60 kids come. That's, that's what I'm saying. Why are you having case. a party if you can't? Look, this is my thing. <laughs> Birthday parties are meant to be a celebration. If you ain't got a friend that you could talk to to say, hey, can you help me celebrate yeah. my kid's party? And yeah. just, we invite whoever want to invite. Or, you know, save up a little eggs. You know when your baby's party is about to come up. So, you know, why don't you start saving beforehand yeah. instead of, you know, putting it on? Because just like she can't afford it, you know, $10 is a lot for a lot of people. Yeah. And what if, you know, that, you that one, one mother has more than one kid? Yes. That's 30, 40 bucks. Yes. Maybe they can't afford that. And, I and swear this guys, mother went to a university. She was a student. So that's another thing to factor how much. I swear to you guys, this is the reason why I love the internet and I love Pinterest. Mm -hmm. You can actually have $50 birthday parties. Yeah. There are ways to do it. Yeah. Kids don't need all, all of that. Yeah. All the, for me, like, what if she can't even afford the cake? Somebody can help There's her. There's an okay? aunt or an uncle that knows Somebody. how to bake a Yo, cake. I, I come from a Vietnamese family, yeah, and my family, it. we found ways. There is a True. way to cut a pineapple real dope if you use those leaves, put a candle in it, and say, happy birthday. Yeah, yeah. it's you always do it. a way to celebrate. You can do it. But, but you're right, cakes today are expensive. They start at 30. Like, what that's if the already... kid wants like a specific cake? What if he wants like and you need that square pants and he just doesn't want the pineapple you, that lives under the sea? Let me tell you but something. But that's what the Vietnamese do. I loved Wonder Woman. Mama might cut Wonder Woman out of a piece of paper and stuck it on a toothpick See? in the pineapple. Happy birthday. <laughs> Yes, I grew you up gotta in get project. creative. Sometimes we didn't have yeah. birthdays. Sometimes we didn't have Christmases, yeah. and it's a hard conversation, but it's a serious conversation. And if you're in that predicament, I'm sorry, but explain that to your children. And you know, you try to save and try to, you know, you try to get the yeah. money. But if that's the way you want to do it, fine. But also remember that there may be somebody that just can't afford yes. to pay ten. That's a that's a charge at a club. Yeah, ten dollars. Ten dollars. That's, that's club charges. That, that, that's a, <laughs> no, come on, if you really break down, that's a drink outside a happy hour. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, that's, that's ladies night right there. Yes. That's, that's there were people hilarious. that did that growing up. Like, I don't know if any of you guys ever had McDonald's birthday parties. Yeah. So uh, yeah, a little girl had a McDonald's birthday party in my church growing up. And I went to her birthday party and you had to pay for your own food at McDonald's. That's kind of the same thing, no? <laughs> was a meal? No, you know when it has meal? the jungle gym? They had yeah. a nice yeah. one. It but was somewhere $10? fancy yeah. in Manhattan. Then? Was it $10? No, it wasn't no $10. I don't dollars. think it was $10. Like a Happy Meal? It was me and that my sister. That was like 99 cents back in the day. I remember they yeah. had the, the dollar menu. So you yes. had to pay for your own food, and then she she had like a, she had, oh my gosh, she had the trays, and the trays had all the burgers stacked up on it. That's you know cute. what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. So. You had some. <laughs> be real with your kids. Just yes. be real with your kids and yes. be honest with yeah. them. Yeah, my mom was like, you and ain't Claudetta yeah. splitting one burger. There you go. Because when you're real with your kids, it builds character. So if you say, That's you true. know, we can't invite everybody, but maybe we can invite a few of your friends. Do yeah. like what Tamara says. Go on Pinterest. Find, yeah. you know, I swear economical to you. ways to, to have yeah. a good birthday yeah. party. What's wrong yeah. with Charging? family? Just cut a cake with your family and we sing happy birthday. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> hey. <laughs> I hear that. Well, from charging kids to charging adults, a Reddit reader recently posted this question asking other users for advice. He said, I am buying a house and my girlfriend is moving in with me. Should I charge her rent? One user said, quote, if you are moving her into a house you are buying, she should at least pay for utilities. Okay, however, another woman disagreed, saying, quote, I would never charge my husband or boyfriend rent. I think it's just common sense if you want to have a stress-free relationship. So, ladies, do you think his boo should help pay the bills? Yes. yes. I, I, you guys are shouting yes, and I agree with you, but I think it depends, and I'm going to explain. Okay. I think it depends. If he purchased the home as an investment, which a lot of people do, they purchase homes as an investment, and they actually have people rent rooms out, so it helps them pay for the cost mm -hmm. of the house. Okay. If, that was, he was, if that's what he was intending on doing, and now he is renting her one of the rooms in the house, does that make sense? No. 
Follow him, no, maybe? No, like she's paying rent or? Yeah, like he's Like now, he's renting it out to her. That just feels Correct. so wrong to me. She's taking space where he could be making money. Yes, yes. But now that means... <laughs> Everybody gotta pay their part, okay? <laughs> so you're saying yes, she should. I'm sorry, like yes, I don't understand. Yes, so then she should. Now, if he just bought the house and he's living in it by himself, then no, I do not think he should charge her for moving because he obviously... Yeah. I ain't having no grown person that... living with me and not paying something. You gonna pay yeah, something. Yeah, you gotta help. Um, Oh, Wait a minute, yes. you guys are in a relationship? And you should help. Yes, yes. you're both, what, she's not able? I'm gonna take I it guess, even Wait, no, I guess I'm just old school, you guys. If you play in house and you're doing things that married people are doing, for me, I'm sorry, married people don't pay rent. I guess that's just how my, but my brain they works. They share. Bills. But they, they share they bills. They share bills. That's yeah. what we're saying. There's other, I think what... And they're not But I'm house, sorry, the question said, should he, should she pay rent? That's what I'm going off of. We're I, talking about I think, bills. I think, I think as an adult. Bills, like so, light bills. Well, when he says rent, Water he bills. to charge her for living there, like put money towards the home. I think he shouldn't charge her, but I think a real woman or a real mate who sees that this man is going, or this person is going in and taking on that whole responsibility should speak up and say, how can I help yes, contribute yes. to this? Yes. That's okay, what that's happens. different. Yes. And, and here's where I actually, when I thought, of, when I'm thinking about this question, it brings me back to being very appreciative about the way my parents raised me. Because my mother and my father taught me that if I contribute, then I have ownership to say something because I'm a part owner with you. But if I'm just freeloading and I'm just sitting there, I don't, I'm not easy to take advantage of people like yeah. that. Does that make sense? Okay. So you you want to play a part. Work. You want to yes. feel like you have purpose in that home yes. and Let's that be you're realistic. Doing something. You don't have to be married to live together. Yeah. A right. lot of people live together. Yes. Um, and when they decide to live together, they do it because of uh, financial, financial reasons. reasons. Now, now, I guess the question would be if she, if she or he, because most of the time it's he, decides, you know, I don't want to pay nothing, do you say, well, you got you to gotta chip in on the rent? That's, it's just called chipping in, and I think that that's fair, but you have to have those conversations before Forehand. you, you know, yeah, decide that's what to live together. Yeah. Or okay, she was well, living me, in her own place. All right, you guys, help me, help me understand this because yeah. I, didn't, I didn't do this. I yeah. did it the very old school way. I didn't live with my boyfriend before I, I got married. Mm -hmm. So this is the way I guess people are doing things now, which is cool, fine, fine, fine. Do you, boo. You know, I'm not telling everybody should, you know, do it like <laughs> me. So in that sense, if you guys break up, okay, because you're both not on ownership of no, it's the house. His home. So it's his or home. Or her home. Or her home. In this what case, do you do case. when they just leave. you, you they, they, break they, up? They, they don't leave. owe you anything. You Which is what I did, yeah. Take your stuff and, and you go. Let me say something. You have to be very careful when you have somebody move in with you because once they move in after a certain number, if it's over 30 days, then you have to evict them if something should yes. happen. So and, uh, let that's it be what known. you have to be serious It about. is very hard to get somebody to move out when feelings and emotions get in there and somebody's exactly. too fresh. Have you, you ever seen the movie The Breakup? It's with Vince Vaughn and Jennifer Aniston. Right. If you haven't seen it, yes. watch it. It gets very complicated. But right. Again, so. it, it takes that. It takes that mentality, a mature mentality, to step up. Like for example, my brother is actually living with me right now, and he's getting his life together, you know. And so I'm not asking my younger brother to pay rent. I'm not asking him to do much at all. That's family. Yeah, that's family. Though, it's, but again, in this case, sometimes it's a necessity. They need that. They right. need that. Yes. But here's what I love, and I respect him because you know you watch them still to see how much are you really going to take advantage of the situation. Mm -hmm. And he chips in on every single thing. He cooks every day for my family. He helps around the house with everything we need. He, built, he, he buys groceries for us. Mm -hmm. He's always driving me different places, so he's like, sis, I got you on gas. So there's ways to pitch in, so it's not necessarily always just paying gas. Yeah. Right. So yeah. what you guys are saying is, is when you enter this kind of verbal agreement, mm -hmm. you, you're not forcing the person to, to pay rent. You're just, I it's think kind of if like you're in a relationship where y'all decide to move in, y'all gonna already have that establishment. I don't see nobody just saying, no, I ain't paying yeah. nothing and da 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 Yeah. I think this was just a jump off topic, okay. all right? That's all it was. I took it know? literal. Yeah, yeah no, I, I lived with a boyfriend before and we just split the rent 50 50. That's yeah. what I thought. We're getting what, an apartment together. We yeah. went into it. We said 50 50. Even though I was the name on the lease, it was and only that's on what my, my husband and I, my husband and I, yeah. we, we have two homes. I, I help with one and he helps with the other. Awesome. So, yeah, yeah they same, same thing. thing. Same yeah, thing. It's the same okay. thing. Mm -hmm. That's all we're saying. We're just same saying, get something. You're going to pay me one way or the other, baby. <laughs> now, speaking of money, Munchkin, I heard that you recently participated yes. in something for a really great cause. Tell us about it. I did. Okay, recently I got the chance to be on this amazing game show called Do or Dare. It's super cool. 
Basically, I competed against my girl Mel B, who's been on the show we before. Love, love Mel B. Her. Love now. Spice girl for life. All right, and guys, we did these really crazy dares to win money for charity. Ooh. Now, over the course of the season, the show has already raised five hundred thousand dollars. Wow. Yes, and wow. the best part is that. The fans can donate too. Yes, you at home, you can donate. My goal was to help raise money to help Puerto Rico with their recovery efforts from Hurricane Maria. Go, in. Go Puerto Rico. And you guys, some of the things they made me do were insane. Check this out. <laughs> Adrian, you're on a roll. Oh my God, absolutely no way. Absolutely not. Is this next object? Help me hold it. Animal, a vegetable, or mineral? Everybody be quiet. Put your Silent. bloody feet down now! Now! Ah! Oh, hell no. That's the animal. That's the animal. That's the animal. That's the animal. Oh, my God. Oh, my That's the animal. Oh, that's the animal. animal. Oh, that's animal. That's oh, animal. Why do I sound like that? No, you guys don't understand. So I had to sit in a chair. They had two holes, and they kept putting stuff on my feet. And I had to guess whether it was an animal, a what vegetable, did you think it was? or like a, a rock. What did you like think it stove? was? I thought that's an animal. That's an animal. I felt the <laughs> no, scale. No, I know, but what animal That did you was think an it? alligator. Oh, my God. You guys, God. that was a baby wow. alligator, and I had to touch it with my feet. Anyways, it was so much fun. Make sure to please check out the new episodes of yes. Do or Dare. They come on every Friday on Facebook, so make sure that you watch Facebook Watch. Head there today to see if I win. <laughs>